Hey everybody, it's Diane here again, and this video today is for Nikki and anybody else who has upper back and shoulder and neck tightness. So we don't need any props today, but we'll be down on the floor and we're going to start in what we call tabletop. So here we go. So many of you might even know this pose, what we're going to do. So hands are planted right under your shoulders. You want to get your knees directly under your hips and then press into your hands, really press down into the floor and firm the arm muscles onto the bones. And then we'll take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, push the floor away and round your back and start to tuck your chin so that you're looking towards your navel. You want to spread your shoulder blades here. And then on your inhale, you'll drop the belly and let the tailbone lift and lift your head up to the sky. And then exhale and round the back. So spread those shoulder blades nice and wide. Tuck your tailbone, look to your navel, and inhale, let the belly drop, lift your head, lift your tailbone, shrug the shoulders down away from the ears and bring the shoulder blades down the back. And let's keep going here for a few, exhaling, inhaling, arching the back, stretching the front of the body, really feeling how is your lower back, how is your upper middle back? Exhale and round, and you can even stay here for a few breaths, breathing into the upper back, and inhale, and one more, exhale, and then let's come to neutral, and as you come to neutral, I want you to think about moving around in your own way, so right here, I'm going to just move, I like to move my hands forward a little bit. So moving around, rolling your head, moving the hips side to side. And the key here is to go in and feel. Can you wiggle around and try to work out any tight places? Like I notice my lower right side of my back is a little tight, so I'm just going to drop the hips over and roll around. So taking this for just a little bit of time. Keep pressing the hands down into the ground, breathing. You might even curl the toes to stretch the bottoms of the feet. Just a little bit here. We'll do a little more. And then we come back to neutral. So hands, hands are a little bit forward now of your shoulders. So move them slightly forward. Walk the knees back maybe an inch. And from here, press into your hands and shift your hips back. And as you look back, your sit bones are not gonna be quite at your heels. So if they are, walk your knees back a little bit. And then on an inhale, we round the back, just like we did earlier, forward. We're bringing the hips forward. We're still looking at the navel, letting the pelvis drop down and lifting out of the arms. If this is too much for your lower back, just back off a little bit. But then we press back and inhale, round, tuck your chin, round the back, float the hips forward, press into the arms, lift the chest wide in the collarbones. And take that just a few times, exhaling back, inhale forward. And lifting your head right here, opening the heart out in front of you. Exhale, press into the hands, take the hips back, sit bones towards your heels, and inhale, rounding your back, spread those shoulder blades, tuck your chin, float the pelvis forward, lift out of the arms. Right here, I see a lot of this collapsing into the shoulders. So lift out of the arms if it's okay in your lower back. One more time, we'll exhale back. Inhale, come forward rolling forward, pelvis floats forward, open the heart and exhale and take it back, just sink down a little bit and then we'll come up to sitting and I'm going to just turn and sit here. So that's it, I feel a little bit looser, just a little bit, short, sweet, 
take a moment in your day, open up the back. And I just want to say, if you have any requests, please make a note, um, a note down in the comments so that I can uh, do a video for you. So these are short videos. I really like to do them for people who have something going on. So that's it today. See you next time.